I'm ya DJ. Nah, I'm kidding, guys. You know who it is. It's Saber. And I'm here today for a little bit of Plants vs. Zombies. This is something I'm going to be trying out just experimentally. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Saber's house. And here we have our lawn. I guess we went a little bit overboard with that lawnmower there. But here we go. You you guys should all know how Plants vs. Zombies works by this point. But in case you don't, you need sun to grow pea shooters. And the pea shooters will stable will uh, keep the zombies from entering your house. You know, pretty pretty basic stuff. I mean, obviously you're seeing it right now, but eventually it does get to be a lot more complicated. Why am I saying this? You already know this. But for right now, we're just kind of rocking around here. So yeah, there's not really much to comment on this early in the game. So I guess I will comment on kind of my personal experiences with the game. So, I got into the series, oh, here we go. First level's already done, look at that. So this is a very important flower. I'll get back to that in just a moment. But this is a very important flower. It gives you additional sun, which allows you to get your defenses out ever so slightly faster. And that's a lot more zombies than there was before. So yeah, you place the sunflower down, and it will just give you more sun over time than what the sky would give you. Which actually makes some levels not impossible, thank goodness. Uh, so back to my uh, back to my little spiel. There was I, I started this game when I was pretty young. Plants vs. Uh, Plants vs. Zombies 2 had just come out. And I was bored at a family reunion and saw it on my grandma's tablet of all things. So I started playing Plants vs. Zombies 2 and then got curious about Plants vs. Zombies 1. And now here I am some 10 years later. I'm going to save that right quick. Uh, playing the original on recording because I can't. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. Alright, except maybe zombies. Zombies might stop me. So, as you can see, we've kind of got all of our rows covered. I'm going to, even though they're columns, I'm going to call them rows because they shouldn't be columns. I I'm gonna be real honest about that. But yeah, uh, we, got, we kind of got our entire basis covered. And <laughs> I, I, I am afraid that I kind of picked up a couple of bad habits from... Uh, from Nintendo Capri Sun, which is uh, the first person I ever watched Let's Play this game, and the one that gave me the idea, so shout out to him. Not that he needs much introduction. The great and legendary Timothy Bishop. And we are almost through level 2. So, kind of outlining the structure of the levels, you'll have smaller waves, and then whenever you see a flag down here, that means a huge wave is approaching, and you better hope that you've got everything ready by that time, because otherwise they're going to mess it all up. Uh, these long mowers over here at the very end it will protect you one time. It will clear out an entire row. Uh, just in case something makes it back there, so they are your literal last line of defense, but hopefully you don't need to use them. And this... This is a cherry bomb. It'll blow up all zombies in a 3x3 three three area, which if you look at it right now, we happen to have three rooms. So that will come in handy. And as you can see, I've kind of just built up my reflexes for this. Like, the second the little starts, that sunflower is already on the fucking ground. So yeah, uh, if you decided to actually come and watch this, I'm glad you decided to watch the to come watch me rock this out. And I swear that things will get more interesting. 
interesting. Coming. Just in case you don't believe me. Uh, one thing I, I can comment on is... Well, first off, just because something's lit up up there doesn't mean you gotta plant it. And zombies can get pretty far along the screen before you really have to worry about them. Like, I, they can probably get three or four up, and you can place down the pea shooter and they'll still be fine. Like, so if you watch this zombie right here, at five hits, his arm will pop off, and at ten, his head will pop off. And he will eat one more after that, and then he'll be done. Right there. So, right now we're in kind of a good position. I'm going to be doing this formulaically, almost. I'm going to be doing three levels every other episode, and two levels every other episode, alternating until we get to the minigames, which, oh boy, I don't know how I'm going to do those, but I'm sure it'll be fine, well, I'll figure it out when I get there. Oh, this guy. So, the normal zombies take 10 hits to break down, this guy takes 30 because he's got a cone on his head, but at 10, you'll see, yeah, it just started caving in, and then at, uh, 20, yeah, it's really starting to, starting to feel the pain now, and then at 30, he just becomes a regular zombie. Wait, what did I just say? Okay, anyway. But, yeah, you, you still don't gotta worry too much about these guys. They're just kinda here to rock around, no problem. And, yeah. So, part of the reason I decided to do this is because it's just time to kind of just chill out, play some Plants vs. Zombies, and it can be relaxing for the viewers to just listening to this music and listening to whoever the commentator is talk about basically nothing. Alright, I think it's about time we show off the Cherry Bomb. Uh, the Cherry Bomb doesn't stick around, it does in fact explode. But, if you have a large amount of zombies in a concentrated area, like so... Boom, hold on. And this is a walnut. But we are going to be cutting it here. So, thank you all so much for coming out. This has been Saber. And if you're here, drop a like, maybe subscribe, and leave me a comment if you enjoyed it. This is Saber signing off. Till next time, see ya.